I, I saw a presentation actually uh, in here in the school about the opportunity to do blended courses. And so it wasn't so much I was introduced to Sakai, but I was interested in, in seeing whether a course that I've been teaching for many years on um, introducing research methods and evaluation methods and methodologies to social work students, whether, that, whether the content of that course could be something that would go, um, that would be web assisted. So it wasn't so much I was looking for Sakai, Sakai became the, the, the mechanism through which we did that. I had an experience teaching uh, more Socratically in the past where you know, I would actually have, stu where students actually prepared for class and then we would discuss in the class about that. And it was, it, it was such a meaningful experience, but what I've learned over the years is that most students don't prepare for class. They assume that I will teach them what they need to know and therefore they don't need to read, they don't need to really be prepared for class because, so, so I've responded over the, I've been teaching at college level for 35 years. No, yeah, longer than that, almost 40 years. And so I've learned over 40 years to, um, that students don't come, come prepared and so I have to teach them what they need to know. That's my role as a professor. It's very frustrating, so I've tried to, um, to use this blended course as a way to kind of, kind of teach the way I want to teach, which is basically where the, this, we have a much more engaging conversation in class. I mean, the, the thing that I don't, that's, um, that's weird to me, is that I don't think about Sakai as my tool. I think about this online set of tools that are available to both to me and to my students, and Sakai is, the, is, is what it, what's called, what it's called. And I don't care. It could be called Schwartz, you know. But in this case, it's Sakai, and it works. Well, I mean, I've used Blackboard in the past as uh, more um, kind of a kind of a place to put to put uh, documents uh, to help me with grading things like that. This is a much much more robust system, you know, that I'm using. For me, the one one issue was reliability. Um, I have found Sakai more reliable, uh, and that's important. Uh, I have found that the ability to set it up with different sections, since I'm the lead teacher across sections, that's really important. So that, that part I like. Um, the fact that all the tools could be easily integrated uh, by section and available to my students, uh, I, I, did, I, never, I never ask of that from Blackboard, but I found Sakai to be very easy to use. Uh, actually from uh, grading, I like the grading tools. So all the tools that I wanted to use are available in Sakai, and that's what was important to me. I, I, you know, I'm, I don't understand what goes on in the background, and I, frankly I don't want to know what goes on in the background. I just want to, the, the interface with me and with my students to be transparent and to be easy easy to navigate and to work with. And so far, the, the navigation tools that I have, I, I, know, I know how to get to the left side, I know where to look, I know how to make things work, uh, and that worked out fine.